Into a video of the USD JPY with technical analysis. That's the dollar versus Japanese yen. We're going to look at an hourly, daily, weekly charts, and we're also going to look at some algorithmically generated entry prices. Let's take a look real quick at this daily chart. This is a 200 day moving average in blue. As we can see, the yen has broken down against the dollar, and that's um, not surprising considering how much. Uh, intervention there appeared to be in my opinion right up here this is all for entertainment purposes only but it looked like a lot of selling across here as soon as it made this high at 151.94 I definitely thought it would correct it's corrected I would say kind of more than I thought but I thought it might go as low as 38 and I think I said that but uh, it's it appears to be catching a bottom through here I don't think this yen's got much more to go I don't think it's going to go down here to this 133 level I think this 137 uh, what the, your bottom here was 137.65, 137.65. I think that might be the end of it. It's really hard to say, but it definitely looks like that. We need to get this price f firmly up a little bit here to 142.5 roughly before we can start to say that this correction is over. But it does look like it's beginning to look like it's over. Let's take a look at the weekly and see what's going on here. You can see that it's closed below the 20-week moving average here, closed below it again, but closed above yesterday's, uh, excuse me, last week's close. So that's not a great sign for this. I wouldn't put a whole lot of stock in it, but it, is, it, it has closed two weeks in a row below the 20-week moving average. So that's indicative of lower uh, rates to come or lower exchange rates. Uh, I'm not sure that I see that, but that's what it's indicative of. I think it's probably corrected as much as it's going to correct, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to argue with the tape. And this particular signal says it could still go lower. Uh, here's your support at the beginning, but. Uh, this 130.39 is your support. I'm, I'm right across here, but I don't think it's going to get anywhere near that. I think it's probably already oversold, and I think it's going to rally up to 142.5, something like that in the next couple of weeks. It might take three weeks, but that's what I'm thinking. Let's take a look at the hourly chart. From an hourly perspective, we can see that the dollar versus the yen has been below the 200-week moving average all the way back here since November 7th, and it's had some tremendous drops in that time. I think it's oversold. You can see some really, really weird trading going across here. This is tremendous, just a stoppage, like a roadblock, stopping this from going any lower, and you can see that that happened on the 15th of November at 8 o'clock. It just, they roadblocked it. Now, that was... Uh, very similar to what's been going on to the pound and to the euro, uh, but only in the opposite direction. But they've roadblocked this for some reason straight across here, and you can see that. It's just really it's gone nowhere. So my guess is that the bottom, the yen in the bottom has probably been hit for the short term, but we have to approach this 200-hour moving average, which will happen probably Monday, maybe Tuesday, but definitely uh, by Tuesday, and see what happens. If this is turned down, then we'll get continued reduced uh, or lower prices down here below uh, this this bottom set at 137 and change. But if it if it breaks through and closes solid above here and puts in a little rally, then we're headed up to the 142.5 as I earlier discussed. This is very strange, and I've seen it on the pound the against the uh, dollar, the euro against the dollar, and now against the dollar against the yen. I see all the same type of movement, which is very very aggressive stoppage not necessarily buying but just stopping it from going any lower so let's take a look and see what our research says about it here's cash for x one two five ten and twenty day holding periods of trading days usd versus the japanese yen for today not monday but for today we had shorts out here at 140 all the way through 140.88 all the way to 140 um, and 0.42 for the 20-day hold. So we had one, two, five, ten, and 20-day shorts. These are for Friday. If you want to see Mondays, you can get them for free. Just go over to RBAM Research, link in the description below, put in your email address, and get free instant access to the major Forex pairs, 190 stocks, and the most liquid futures contracts. Crypto has currently been suspended. No credit card required access is free for 14 days. They're updated every morning before 7 a.m., but if you go over there 6 p.m. the night before, you can get Mondays um, uh Forex rates for all the Forex that we cover. There's uh, several things. Custom videos made for you like this one. Follow the link in the description to get the idea of what goes on there. We also have a link in the main page for that. You get uh, to trade here at your own risk, and you can never forget that. You also should always do your own analysis. And everything you've seen and heard on here, including enterprises, is for entertainment purposes only, including my commentary. You can't use it for anything other than entertainment. Please click the like button if you like this video. If you want to subscribe, please do that as well. And if you have a great comment for us, please leave it in the comment section below.